Oh, I'm sorry. This is a little Cliff, the blues rivet man from BassSupply.com. We're here today with another unboxing of a cordless tool. Today we're working with the Huck Makita BV2200. This particular model is the BV2200-118K2. It's a two battery, 18 volt Makita riveting system tool that Huck has just introduced. Let's unbox it and take a look at what we've got. Got a durable plastic carrying case here. Makita quality. This is what the kit looks like. This is the tool itself. Here's what it sounds like. I guess I gotta put the battery on, that would help. That's the battery. We've got a five amp, 18 volt battery. That's the sound of the stroke. There's a power system in here with a digital adjustment so you can control the pull force. The pull force on the tool can go all the way up to 2,200 pounds of pull force. It's got a 1 and 3 16 inch pullback stroke, 30 millimeters for you metric lovers. Uh, it's an 18 volt system like I spoke about, brushless motor, and it weighs about 5.4 pounds with the 5 amp battery. It takes the full range of Makita batteries that are available from Makita for their drills, their saws, any of their um, commercial uh, woodworking and uh, metalworking cordless tools. Huck has adapted it for their uh, lock bolt system. We're going to show you in a few minutes how it works. So this is basically how it sounds. You've got the standard Huck nose assembly adaptation nut that accepts the full range of Huck, tool, uh, Huck, Huck nose assemblies that are used on the Huck pneumatic tools. So we just take this nut off and we'll mount the nose equipment and show you how it works. You also get the, um, you get the Makita quick charger here and you get two 5 amp batteries with the kit. And they give you a nice instruction manual as well. And by the way, if anybody needs uh, catalog information at baysupply.com, you can find out everything you need to do in terms of availability price and, um, and any you know, specifications are available on our website. So let's, uh, let's attach a nose assembly and we're gonna show you uh, a bobtail fastener, which is Huck's newest uh, fastener that doesn't have pintails that break off when you set the, uh, the lock bolt. We're going to show you what bobtail is like and how it's set with this cordless tool. So we're back again with the BV2200 118K2 Huck Makita cordless tool. This tool is a baby brother to the Makita BV4500 series that we've already done a video on. This one has lower power and it's primarily designed for the newer series of Huck bobtail lock bolt fasteners. What's unique about bobtail is that there's no separation of the pin after the collar is swaged onto the bolt. And we're going to show you how that works. I'm going to attach a bobtail nose assembly. You take a look and see that this is very different from a conventional lock bolt nose assembly. You don't have gripper jaws with bobtail. You have a three-toothed pulling stud that will grab the little tail of the fastener, swage the collar onto the bolt, and create that joint that you normally would have done with a conventional lock bolt where the collar would be swaged on and the pin, the pin would actually break off. So this is, a, this is a, a, a gripping puller, they call it. It's a, a three-toothed puller that has grooves inside that are designed to grab the geometry of the end of the bobtail fastener. So let, let me show you how it attaches. So we're going to remove the standard nut that's on the end of the tool. We're going to thread on the puller. It's a one-piece puller. I'm going to thread that onto the piston of the tool. Okay, and then we're going we're to hold the trigger in and put on the outside anvil, okay? And then we're gonna attach that with the nut, very simply, like that. There's a lot of threads here, so it's gonna take a little while to get all the way down until it's seated. Okay, and we're just gonna turn the jam nut so that it's locked solidly. Obviously, in production, you'd, you'd wrench tight and everything. We're gonna let go, and you see now the protrusion of the puller through the front of the nose assembly. Very different from a conventional lock bolt nose where the jaws would be embedded inside the nose assembly and they would be used to pull the collar in, the pin and the collar in, swage the fastener and break out, and then you would dump it into the bottle. This tool can also accept a variety of blind rivet and other lock bolt nose assemblies as well. That's why we have the bottle collector for blind rivets and other huck fasteners where you do have ejected pintails. 
What's nice about bobtail, there is no pintail waste, there's nothing to fall on the ground, and, and it's, it's a really interesting fastening system. So I have a couple of plates here, and we're going to shove a bobtail bolt through the, the plates. We're going to put the collar on the end of the bolt like we would in any conventional lock bolting situation. But what's different now is that this pin is never going to break off. We only have to insert the little end of the tail in the gripping jaws, pull the trigger, let go, and we're done. You have a nice solid swage collar like you would with a normal huck bolt system, but no pintail break off. No shock, very, very smooth action, no fatigue to the operator's hand. And with a cordless tool with an adjustable power system like you have on the Makita tool, the 2200 series, it really is a, uh, the newest era of, of lock bolt installation. Um, very popular in solar panel and outside work uh, installation, um, electrical conduits on buildings, uh, all types of applications where you don't have air and you don't want to be leaving any kind of waste pintails on the ground. Very popular in um, alternate energy, solar and wind uh, frame construction these days and in maintenance. Um, let's do another one. So we have, again, I just want everybody to be able to see this unique bobtail fastener. This is a grade 5 steel fastener. They're made in aluminum. They're made in steel at a variety of steel strength grades from uh, grade 5 uh, up, to, up to grade, uh, grade 8 and, and metrics equivalents. So we're going to shove another one through the plate here. We're going to put the collar on here. What's nice about the collars too is that in this series of collar that we're using today, there's a plastic shield inside the uh, the inside the, the the ID or the internal diameter of the collar so that if you were working upside down before you install the fastener the collar won't fall off so this is a, this is a, one of the features that you can get with uh, bobtail and with standard huckball collars is a is a uh, a retaining sleeve inside the collar that'll hold that collar on if you're working upside down um, once again we'll set it up into the little end of the puller we'll hold and pull and let go very quick, very quick cycle. Let's do it one more time just so you get a really good idea on this. Again, we'll throw, throw the, uh, fill the last hole of our test plate here and we'll put one of the collars on. Again, with that nice feature that won't allow the collar to fall off. In the end of the puller, and there you go. So this is a great uh, example of the latest era of lock ball technology, Huck's bobtail system. And they've combined it with the design of the Makita BV2200 series tool to really give you an integrated fastening system um, that really affords you the fastest, uh, least amount of waste, and the quickest type of cycling time and, and uh, operator comfort that you can see in the industry. Very unique. Um, nobody else in the industry has anything like this. So thanks again for joining us today as we went through this unboxing of the Huck BV2200 series cordless Makita lock bolt tool. Uh, again, it does rivets as well as a variety of other Huck fasteners, but we really liked uh, the performance that it does on this new Huck bobtail line of, of lock bolts with, uh, with the um, pintail lists or, or pintails that don't break off type technology. Definitely uh, more information available on our website, on our full range of tools, as well as information on Huck Bobtail. We have a great technical department. Give us a call at 800-718-8818. You can email us at info at baysupply.com. Visit our, our YouTube channel where we have a lot of instructional videos online. Check us out on Facebook. Give us a like if you enjoy these videos. We plan on doing more. And again, um, thanks so much for uh, you know, hanging in there with us. and. Uh, let us know if you have any comments, and we'll talk to you again. We'll see you next time when we do our next unboxing. Thanks again for listening to my harmonica as well. I got to have a little blues with every time we do one of these videos. See you next time.